Hello everybody, Jasmine is my name. Welcome back to Gothic 2, the very hard edition. As you guys can see, we are back in the city from the low bot. Damn it. We are back from from Cavalier, from Xardas and Lester. We did uh, kill the two wolves. As you can see, my health dropped on the way back because I thought there was nothing. We killed them with arrows. We almost one shot the young wolves. So we still got a way to go. We need to learn to pick. Pocket. Ah, oh, that's going to. Oh, look at the at the knight. Wow, from the first try. We need to learn to pick pocket and pick lock, but pick pocket will come later on. We need a tip skilled. Citizen clapping. I know nothing about picking Is locks. Is it better than what we have? Blunt weapon and dragon fire. We don't need dragon fire. Probably the NPCs will now say nothing. Does it? Oh. Never mind. That we did pick, pick lock, or we opened. But this one, we need a. I know nothing about picking locks. Picking locks, we have to learn that skill. But in today's episode, we are going to become a citizen of the town and have the people leave us be without interrupting us about not wearing an armor. Or might be that now they will not complain that we don't have an armor. Tell me you didn't know that. Right? We are a citizen now. Well, cluttered like yeah, one. Yeah, problem. he's not saying anything. So we did Matteo's quest. Now we are going to give the Bosper quest. It can't go on like this forever. We give him the five, the six pelts. Nothing surprises me anymore. About the wolf skins, I've got them here. Great! I knew you would be suitable for this job. Here's the pay I promised you. And believe what do you think? Here. Oh, it gives Isn't me. this better work than banging away at Twenty swords gold all day That's very or good. filling little bottles in a dusty Why chamber? That up, then? He's my favorite uh, master. I agree with you completely. So, we are going to do all the quests and ask them to sign up. Want to sign on he wants them the to other sign with other masters. Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. We might have to buy the leather hunter armor whatever it's called now because i don't think it's in the chest will i get your approval to sign up with a different master i had hoped you would choose me but if that's the way you want it does that mean you'll vote for me if none of the other masters objects yes but you would certainly have made a good hunter i'm no better off myself so can he Show sell us now wares. stuff? I agree with you yeah, we don't need arrows. Can oh we don't sell him anything. We need to buy the ring. We only got ten arrows. Yeah, I think I'm not going to rush buying the arrows. We can still kill the weakling with one shot. With a not one shot, sorry, with a sword. Let's get some more money and empty our inventory. He's going to be our dump NPC. This one we need for. Parrot. Pickaxe we need that we don't need. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Yeah, we barely make any money. This is worth nine gold and this also nine gold. That's very good. It's not what I heard. But rest? No Ah, oh, the rings we can still sell the rings, but when we are in there need of gold, so we finished two masters, now we're going to finish the quest with Torborn. Hey! Because we did pray. Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him, actually. But one day he simply didn't show up for work. That's not what I heard. Oh yeah, because we activated the missing people. Now we can ask people about the missing ones. And we still have to talk with uh, Vatras about the bandits. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. You are main? How long has it been since you saw him? 
I guess it must be about two weeks. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later, he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinnus without a decent job. Is that so? I knew that would be a problem. How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Inos? Yes, I did. Then you shall have my blessing as well. No matter what path you decide to take, take pride in doing a good job, my boy. He can teach us picking locks. But we need to level up 1,200. A little bit less. So, two more masters. Do we have all the plans for Constantina? Where are the plans? Might have. Oh, but Herod also, he's the what first do you one. Want? I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. You did it after all. Good man. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. You better be. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. I'll give you my approval. Brian will still be here for a while. And a strong lad to take his place will turn up in time. So, the last Constantino. What are you going to tell us, old man? About the plants. If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. I've got all the plants oh, I was supposed to bring you. What? You're pulling my leg, right? By Adonis. It's all there, all right. Who knows? Maybe someday you can make a decent alchemist after all. We'll have to buy the rare ones. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my He doesn't give us approval? any experience, sadly. Hmm. Asking as him to join another master. Turn, you can sign up with whoever you like. So now we can become a citizen of the town and enter the upper quarter, which doesn't bring us anything at all at the moment. But we are going to go with the hunter because we are bow and he can teach us to craft bows and buy our pelts that we get. And we get a lot in this version. I want to start as your apprentice. <laughs> Great, you seem to know the basics already. Harrod thinks you're a good man. Thorben gave you his blessing. I'm not all that pious, but I'm fine with it. Constantino says you can sign up wherever you want for all he cares. And Matteo says you're worth your weight in gold. It's really not my problem. This means you have the approval of all masters. You can work for me at any time if you want. What we don't want. I'm in. You aren't going to regret this. I think we'll be able to work together well. I'm not telling you anything so let's you. give him all the pelts that we still have. I've got a few you skins for you. Wolf skin. That's good. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. So now I believe Show we have enough wares. for the ring. I'm not this ring is very you. rare. Yep, we got enough. We are going to use it right away. We don't need a magic protection. We have no money. 15 dexterity. And then we can use this assassin dagger. Well, that's good. So we are a citizen of the town now. We can enter the upper quarter, but there is nothing for us to do there. We need a pick lock. We need a sneaking. We already have, actually. So that's good. Show me your wares. Now we need some money. Somehow we need to get money. 25 gold about that. we get a tenth of the no, of the value of items this is very bad so now about vatras oh yes to activate the hey. bandits quest tell me about the ring of water since you are not yet a member of arc but i shall tell that we know from last time so 
This is Who new. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other Water Mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. How everyone looks at what us exactly talking. What exactly is it that you do? We stand kind of between the order of Innos and the citizens. chaos of Beliar. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. The we bandits are, are probably the most obvious one. Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from That's a how weapons we merchant the quest, in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. Can we tell him anything about, about those missing, missing people? people? Yes. Where should I start looking for them? Most of those people disappeared down by the harbor. That's probably where you should start your search. Let me tell you. What have you found out? Nothing. Im Nothing important, okay? About this weapons dealer. How much do you know about the weapons dealer? Ask Martin, the Provisions Master of the Paladins, about this. He should be able to tell you more. He has been tasked with unmasking the weapons dealer. You can find Martin in the Harbor District. If you see a heap of crates, provision, and paladins, Martin won't be far. Is there anything that could help me with my search? You're a very persistent young man. But I actually can think of something that could make your tasks easier for you. I shall give you this ore amulet. You'll certainly be able to use it. It is an amulet of the searching Will-o'-the-Wisps. There are only very few of them. The Will-o'-the-Wisp that inhabits this amulet has very special properties. It can help you find things that normally elude the naked eye. You summon it by simply wearing the amulet. If it loses its power or you cannot find it, simply put on the amulet again and it will reappear. The Will-o'-the-Wisp can detect weapons. It could be very helpful to you in investigating the weapons deliveries to the bandits. Treat it well and it will never fail you. I never really use this amulet. A Will-o'-the-Wisp in an amulet? Will-o'-the-Wisps are admirable creatures. They consist of pure magical energy. They are bound to the magical ore in this world. It is their origin. It gives them their strength. I'm not surprised that you've never heard of them. They only appear to the person who bears the ore to which they belong. Will-o'-the-wisps living in the wild have been forcefully removed from their sources. They will attack anyone who approaches them. There is no way to help those pitiful creatures. You would better stay away from them. They are annoying, we have to kill them. Can the Will of the Wisp do more than that? More than look for close combat weapons? Not unless you teach it. I think Riordian knows how to teach these beings. He is one of us, currently traveling with Satyrus. Perhaps he can tell you more. I never found it very useful, Thank this amulet. You. I shall take good care of it. Now we got the quest. We can now try to see if we can get the quest from from uh, Hakon about the bandits. If not, then probably we screwed it up. But it's okay. One hundred gold. I hey, you! Us. 
I am Hacker, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days. We know what he's saying. We talked with him last time. Tell me it's gotten because of the even the animal they have been. Do you know anything about Yes. Oh you can they've helped in re Where Hara now he works for all I can What do you I have seen some of the but what there was he claimed I haven't seen I reported but Lord That's not what I heard. He simply talks to What do you me. and I'm Do you, the f do you know where he patrol? Don't tell this to anyone. Where did they hold? After a while. And it's going to get I'll deal with it. What? You want to take? How much is the matter? That's a dangerous business. Oh, we don't have to mention oh, how. All right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. Show me your wares. So now we got the the quest. 100 gold pieces so we are going to do some quests now here we did talk with Ceres with Yora we have to talk and Baltram but Baltram doesn't have anything for us yet but with Yora we Kinos can talk be with you stranger if you're looking for a good selection for the traveler then you're in the right place but I'm warning you if you're planning on helping yourself without paying I'll call the city guard just a moment do I look like a thief that ah. arrow is annoying. You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Now that's typical. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaroo, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment and my purse was gone. Don't tell me that. He cannot drink your money because the beer is for free. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... I could get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. How much gold was in that purse? 50 gold pieces. That's, That's quite a lot in these good. crappy times. Yes, it is. Wish I had a 50. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. I can't take care of everything for I've got to be on my way. So we are going to join the Tiff's Guild on the peaceful way so that's why we are not going to oh you still owe me a favor it is time to Didn't pay want your to do that. what do you want i want my old stall in the marketplace back sarah snatched it away from me but she has had that spot long enough i want her to give up the stall and what's my part in this i will give you a letter to stick in her pocket then you go to andre and tell him that sarah is selling weapons to onar she lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. Didn't want to talk with him. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you. Because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. That's not what my husband thinks. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to foist the letter on her? Let her show you her wares. And while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't try to play me for a fool. That's not what I heard. Yeah, we are going to snitch him. Suit yourself. Who says things like that? Cantor is not uh, tied to the thief guild. So, Rengaro... Hey. Jora says you got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here. Oh, well, cannot talk with him anymore. Normally, if you stay there, you can talk to him. So we have to follow him to his hideout. To join the royal militia. 
there is a hidden leather satchel that I for a long while didn't know about it. It's somewhere here. Or in the original version it used to be here. Unless they removed it. No, it's here. This looks different now. I do like it. So we are not going to snitch him. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... And now, you tell me who you are. I'm nothing but a poor wretch, trying to make ends meet one way or another. Well, what else can I do? I can't find a job in town. All right, I see. Spare me your whining. You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! Hopefully. I should turn you into the militia. What else this is do needed you want? For the I've got nothing left! Let me go, man! Get lost, and don't show your face around here again. Oh, you won't regret this. Thanks, man. When we tell him that we joined the Thief Skilled, he's going to give us some dexterity, so it's really worth it. Oh, we can enter. Where are we here? Is this where Lord Andre is? Probably. Looks different now. Oh, this is the prison. What do you want here? Nothing. I need to get going. So we have to talk with Lord Andre first. Oh, he's not Lord Andre. He's only Andre. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? He looks so young now. It's about a sacred artifact, the Eye of Innos. The Eye of Innos. I have never heard of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. If there truly is an artifact of this name, only the highest members of our order would know anything about it, in any case. That's why I have to talk to Lord Hagen himself. Lord Hagen receives only paladins, or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. That's not true. You don't have to be a paladin or a militia to talk with Lord Andre. They screwed it up here. I want to take up service with the paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable. But orders are orders. So we can join them now. Is there a faster way a to join you? Town. Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Good. Listen, I have a problem. If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia. But the most important thing is, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure they want to join them. with an organized gang. It would not amaze me if there were a thieves guild in Corinus. Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. But you must say nothing about our agreement. This is the hardest way to join them. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. I can only tell you this much. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing. Absolutely nothing. The people there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the paladins, you will learn nothing. 
Why are you paladins in town? The goals of our mission are secret. I can only tell you that there is no danger for the citizens of the town. You need not worry. Not worrying then. He doesn't about care those about the missing, missing people. people. Just leave or me alone care? with that. No. I've got other problems. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Yeah, we have to. Cantha the merchant is trying to get rid of Sarah. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? I was supposed to foist a letter on Sarah, which claimed that she's supplying weapons to Onar. I see. I shall gladly pay the bounty for that bastard. He is already as good as behind bars. Nice, we got some money and we get some rewards from Sarah also. What car? So we go back to Sarah, tell her about that. It's so dark already and it's only 16 o'clock. Oh, Yora, let's give him his money back. Bartok is also here. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? She Listen, knows about them? if you get my gold back for me from that Renguru fellow, I'll tell you what I know. About the thief? Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? Greedy bastard. He got away from me. And what about Didn't my gold? Want to do that. Did he get away with it? Oh, yes. We can give him his money. Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos be praised. There is still justice in the city. I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. See, he's not giving now, us anything I must get now. Back to my customers. But later on, he's going to give us a sword for Alric, so it's still good. What do you know about the Thieves Guild? Right, listen up. You haven't heard anything of what I'm about to tell you from me, Capiche? There are shady characters who frequent the Dockside Inn. I bet the landlord knows a thing or two. If you're planning to track down the thieves, you should go talk to him. You could act like you're up to something crooked, for example. Maybe he'll fall for it, but be very careful. These people are not to be trifled with. Well, thank you very much I've for the hand. I've got to be on my way. Now tell Sara about the scheme from Kantar. Ah. There you are again. She is looking so hot. Kanthar was trying to trick you and to get your booth for himself, but I've turned him over to the city guard. Then you've made an enemy of a dangerous man. I've known the bastard for a long time, and he's always wanted my place for himself. Take this weapon as a token of my gratitude. Why is she looking so different? How's business? When the paladins came, I, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity. But they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. Does she have buttocks? Wow. What's the problem with the farmers? They, start they refuse quest. to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. An owner, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they'd simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm, but I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. So we got a trick now. We can go with Mika, the city guard outside of the city walls, and he can help us kill the people there. So that's very good. What about our money? This weapon is so good. Worth 70 gold for us. Oh, we dropped the arrow. How many arrows do we have? Then. so this doesn't count the one that we have in our hands how much money does he want for uh... how strange it What's seems so strange? to me that I have met you before traveler well great are the mysteries of time and space oh please forgive my rudeness son of patience 
I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? I like my his name. name. Is Abu Jin Ibn Jadir Ibn Omar Khalid Ben Haji Al Sharidi? I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. That's very it is good. up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps towards Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. How much does can a prophecy cost? Can you make cost? me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. That's Tell very me about cheap, the so future. Worth it. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? Of course I am. Experience. They are guarding an entry, an old tunnel, a valley of mines, men in shining armor, a magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature! The flames... Many... shall die. What is that? A city. A city. Ruins. Quarhodron in Jakandar. He is summoned. Quarhodron in Jarkandar. I am sorry. Division is over. There's nothing more I can see. So we do have experience to learn the pick lock. Hear ye, inhabitants of we Karenis. can talk with uh, By the explicit order what's his of name? the Honorable Lord Hagen, the Rengar? following decree is hey, what's hereby up? enacted. Yeah, as long as Martian the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I can have of the myself realm. a couple of beers all here. <laughs> the guy in the back. Yeah, the You're working for the paladins? Well, yeah. The Honorable Jumping Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of resistance against the king's guards most severely. He's going to give us some hints for the worst. No reason to work for some, someone in the harbor. And the paladins have everything under control. Go home and let us do our work. We're watching over the town and its citizens. Oh, oh. Would you like another beer? <sighs> mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. How is it cool? It's in my pocket. Cannot be cool. You were about to say something about the orcs. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. The orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. Mm, they're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, and, and the pass is, is held by the paladins. <laughs> Not even a meat bug could get through there. Oh, sorry. Would you like another beer? A tasty bitter ale is absolutely the best. He's quite drunk. We can get his money easily, right? 
You know, you don't often meet someone who'll treat you to a beer. <clears throat> You're all right. I know I am. Would you like another beer? Oh, I believe he doesn't tell us anything. A tasty bitter ale is e He has no new lines. I believe he only has an information for us about the Valley of Mines. You know... Yep, that's it. So, looks like we are Hear ye, done inhabitants in this of Corinus, Oh, damn it. By the explicit order of the Hell. Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree So we are done with, uh, with this side of the, the city. We are going to go into the, the harbor. Oh, no, we are not done. We are going to learn the, the big clock and then the we will end up in the, the law harbor the doing more quests, collecting the items on the roofs of the city, of the houses, not the city. And we can talk also with Pablo if we find him. Oh, he's waiting here. That's new. Well, looks like we are going to have to sleep and then we will talk with a uh, with a guy here with Torben. Or is he inside? No, he is probably smoking somewhere or drinking. And there arose all Valentino is here. creatures, trees as well as animals, wolves as well as sheep. No, as where all, where is Torben? If he's not here. A human. Well, a I'll sleep tree. then at Hannah because it's free, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we are going to do the harbor. Or well, we already did the city, I believe. Yeah, it would be smarter to go with Mika to the Achilles farm so I'll see you guys in the next episode heading to Achilles farm stay cool and uh, bye bye